Meghan Markle here. Today is March 18, 2023. This is either video number two or video number three. My first recording, there's a possibility I might uh, divide it into two parts. So um, let's call this video three because I passed more than an hour with uh, my first recording. So I might split it into two. All right, new subscribers, welcome. So let's go on Twitter and sort of continue because I'm just going to record whenever I have time, I'll edit. All right, and spring break is coming, by the way, <laughs> and I need to pile some videos for you. Uh, we might go somewhere with the kids for a couple of days and then, um, you know, so you have at least one video a day. That's my goal with my channel, at least one video a day. I don't have to be on Twitter every day, but uh, let's get started. Too much mumbling. Okay, can someone please explain to me what the heck is wrong with our people? Aside from colonized brain, what else drive person of color to do this? Okay, oh, <laughs> she's zooming to her. She's zooming to her. So it started here. This is the original picture. Okay, so I read this. I'm not gonna read it any, uh, again. Okay, good morning, squaddies. Now I know some. Some might think the nugget is picking on the escort, but honestly. As the worst of all, the pilot psycho fans, I don't think she gets enough dragging. Chucky suffers the brunt of it. Her 10 pack skin deserve a break, but only for today. Oh my God, I can't believe this is what they they were putting. They didn't even send that. What? Okay, that's when I just realized this is a Photoshop. I didn't know, because I've seen a similar image like that, but um, I didn't pay attention to the play cards that were being held. And then when I saw, <laughs> I realize it's a Photoshop. It's not real. They manufactured it. <laughs> not my horse. Not my horse. Not my horse. And this one said the cow. Oh my God. Okay. And I read this. I'm going to come back because there's 24 comments here. There's me here. Oh damn. Okay. This is a nugget. Your gem. Such a clever squaddy. Not my horse. This usually there's a religion involved. All right. So let's go into that. Okay, I told you I got all of the comments on there. Okay, maybe more people added so from the time I did the screenshot. All right, I read this. I love uh, the not my cow sign in the background. There's a laugh. People are laughing. Okay, not my horse. I swear, when I first saw it, I thought it was the squad who did some sort of Photoshop. You know how barren. That's the first thing that popped in my mind. Barren. Mm -mm -mm. Is it Sussex lawyer? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Not the horse. Wow. Okay, the horse whisper understand. <laughs> the squad are laughing. LOL. You, you are a true artist. Okay, it's no fun when the rabbit has the gun. Wow, there's the clap. Life, this. This is commercial. Not my horse. I love your work. There's this. She's wearing the horse. What the hell? Okay, despite the media encouraging and ang and egging on Brits to boo Harry and Meghan, I can remember the crowd ever once booing them. Now it has become an everyday thing in the UK to boo the royals. The media started it and the royals sanctioned it by remaining silent. Enjoy your lot. Mm hmm. Okay, not my horse. That's this. When they allow the booing and slander toward Harry and Meghan, they open the floodgates that is okay to boo and slander any royals. And here we are. You rip what you saw. Okay, the cow did it for me. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Okay, it's still about KFC. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's that. How these two imbeciles thought they could get away with what they did to Diana or that the world has forgotten is beyond me. Sussex squad. Okay. A whole bunch of uh, hashtag. 
this this year not my king oh my god it's getting more and more oh this one i remember it now i see the overall picture this is the way i like to take pictures to tell you the truth you get the full essence but you know what i'm looking at the church okay they got the the people there and part of the church as well to give you a full perspective of things all right there's this not my king there's that oh my god uh 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 there's this here trust me we haven't forgotten and why many of us can stand charles or side piece and haven't since the 80s all right there's this here okay i didn't forget about what they did to princess diana okay sadly unless more people start pushing back they will get away with it 20 to 30 protesters is a disgrace i sure hope that every britain citizen who's here complaining on this app backs it up by joining the protest on, on shiny hat day <laughs> shiny hat day all right let's go to the next tweet the way that i'm moving let me see one two three four five more video uh five more tweets okay um the way that i'm moving uh this may not be even 30 minutes hopefully i don't say too much okay why is she smiling when you see king charles worried miserable face and her face knowing protesters are outside if there was a time you to want to wipe a smile off a face this is it the destiny this man waited his whole life for may be crumbling and she is smiling i don't know maybe she's a mole to destroy the royal family i don't know that's the only thing i could say about that with that uh, caption there's me here okay her we're almost at the finish line him oh what just happened thinking he was still in the 80s he just woke up from a big long deep sleep hypnotism okay something like that there's absolutely no way this guy wasn't under some sort of a spell to be this dumb and cool in my humble opinion that is a smile of shame and embarrassment okay there's that she feel no shame or embarrassment if she did okay she will not have done the thing she did okay it's it's his fault isn't it he's put her first treated people abominably because of it lied to the nation and the world because of it employed the most heinous ghastly people to promote it and thrown at least one son under the bus to protect it i have no sympathy for him made his bed etc yeah but i think he is facing a highly manipulative person who had a bid on him and he is in love with her i don't see him as evil but flawed deceived he did things to benefit her to his own detriment an evil person put themselves first always well we can't put a pass on what he did I mean, he's an adult. He knew he's going to be king. Didn't he know what king do? Okay. He has the power and everything. My goodness. I mean, to a certain extent, but uh, he went along with it and he was benefit from it. Okay. When the headlines was switching to somebody else. Eh? Okay. It serves him right. You lie down with dogs, you get up with fleas. He made his choice. That I agree. Okay, I think Charles may have been manipulated by Camilla, a person who apparently seek to manipulate others with a bid on him, on attractive target, giving his position. If he had good influence, more self-confidence history would have been different. I feel sorry for him. N I don't know. Unless if I'm fully aware that uh, he was under some sort of a spell, like I said at the beginning of... Uh, where is it where's my comment here like hypnotism he just got up from the 80s and now he's king he can't imagine what just happened okay i will be smiling too he went from this <laughs> there's the gif he went from this mm -mm -mm, to this okay hey Okay, in my view, she got him to give up his greatest asset, exploited his insecurity to elevate herself. If she loved him, she would want him to have the best legacy, reputation, and monarchy. And not only that, as recently as not too long ago, his son told him he doesn't need to marry her. You could still be with her, but don't marry her because Harry saw the negativity with that will bring along with her. But he didn't listen. Okay, she will have left him. To his great destiny not this raggedy legacy he has now and then i think the queen knows as well so the queen knew not know he she knew 
Okay, the honest truth is that she never loved him and initially wanted him as a plaything to get back at her then husband and he was fooling around with Anne. Okay, I mean, I don't think she... What was it I read where she never really held any good job or something like that? I mean, she worked her way. Okay, she enjoyed being, uh, what is it, Prince of Well. Okay, she enjoyed being Prince of Well mistress for status, perks, gifts, pound. Charles was her husband's boss. Uh, I read, he used to leave his own house to, so Charles and Camilla could spend time together. I also read, they will French kiss goodbye in front of her husband and those circles men just take it. What is it? They were saying that uh, the husband was okay with it, but they didn't, he didn't want it to go public. But once he made it public in one of those interviews, that's when he asked for a divorce. That's a small grin. Absolutely. And he looked miserable. Her ex-brother-in-law, Richard Bow, called her a wrecker who is not happy if others are happy. He's worried, uh, he's worried, unhappy, and she's smug. Detestable woman. She looks like she makes trouble then sit back and gleefully watches the chaos. Eh? Okay, she thinks she wants something just because she tempted on him into oblivion. I think she really played a trick him to ruin his legacy by picking her up and uh, attaching her to his destiny. It was love for him. It was status, money, and power for her. Yeah. All right, let's read some more and then that's it. Okay, whatever's here. Okay, I agree because her and uh, APB had an agreement as long as the affair was kept on the down low, her marriage will continue, but Charles Boy outed the affair on TV, so APB, okay, so, uh, the ex-husband, something Parker Bowl filed for divorce. That's what I was saying, and that's what I'm aware as well. Wow, these people are the lowest of low lives. Yeah, that's what I'm like, knowing what we know now, they are bottom feeders. And what Richard Bowles was right, I do not know stories since her question. All right, so there's this, there's more. I'm tired of reading this. Maybe I'm just getting tired to, um, okay, let's read this since it's on the screen. This doesn't care. <laughs> like bitch she doesn't care she gets the crown and surpasses her great grandmother also a king's concubine her to become queen that's another thing too okay so that's a commercial i think it is next tweet regarding kfc3 again okay the, co the coronation will be queen camilla victory lap much to william's uh, chagrin all right so there's that I'm not going to go in the article. I think I'm tired from reading for like an hour plus. Okay, Harry has nothing to do with this mess. Mm-hmm. Okay, my obsession while want and can't were so occupied and slandering and destroying Harry and Meghan, they weren't watching the she-devil Carmilla and his simpleton of a tampon father. My bet is this entire attack against Harry and Meghan was to elevate Carmilla to cement her, what is that? I don't know what's that, and the crown. Uh, no, no, what I've said about this, maybe she's right, okay? All this is a humble opinion, the comments and all that, is that heavy, he tr I truly believe she tried to get heavy in the same boat or tried to manipulate Harry. He can ma manipulate Harry, okay? And maybe this is how somehow they drug Harry, but Harry still couldn't be manipulated. So instead, you X him out. Get him out of there along with his smart wife. So he wanted to manipulate. Look at how the other brother came out saying uh, about his mother. Okay, so they can't really, or she can't really uh, manipulate Harry. Harry was too smart for them. Okay, everybody knows a man like Charles, the guy who talks about his blended family when in reality he throws away his first family for his new wife's family. It's a pattern that has played out with weak men repeatedly over centuries. All right, I'm here for it. The cute Wells and Sussex kiddos have nothing to, uh, have nothing to worry about. I just Google Cam's kids and grandkids. Who? Google Cam's Camilla's, okay, I don't know. Okay, socially ambitious parents will be well aware that a friendship with them will guarantee their children a VIP pass into the, into the privileged center of the British society. This is described Carol Middleton and her ambition for her daughters. Mm. Camilla is the king of England. The sooner people start realizing that, the better. She successfully conned the British media into focusing on Harry and Meghan so she could quietly amass more power. Now that the fog is gone, 
That's right. The bodies and the streets are visible. Yep. That's exactly that. This all makes one wonder if the press around the Rose Affair corroborate by some uh, something Paco Bull's friend Corinne was a warning shot fired to make Baldi back off acting on any outrage over Camilla's obsession. Huh. Can you imagine that? I love this for William. Glad Harry got out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Harry was his only ally. The one who will uh, back him up. Who will have his eyes behind him but no <laughs> Camilla uh, got him on the same boat and then throw Harry under the bus and there's Harry living his best life okay and then they're still trying to ex Harry okay is he downgrading the inc incandescent to chagrin chagrin Diana uh, Diana is queen all right let's read this there's a special place in the afterlife for Camilla Harry and Meghan are the winners as far as any of this concern of this is concerned he's really determined to be the last king of england huh okay well uh he should have joined forces with harry and megan but yet here he is mm -hmm. why this uh pierce look why this period's look the queen of the netherlands is a much happy one than this bunch okay there's this if william had any sense from his mother's dna he'd one grow a pair and show some leadership to get over himself uh, man bridges with Harry. There's that. Uh, work out with his pair how to make their dis uh, displeasure of CBPs shenanigans public in a dignified way. Okay, he went a ton of kudos and respect. I think now it's too late. In my view, I think Megan is done. Megan is done. You can after what they did, especially what happened in in the court. Okay, for him to go out of his way to try to mess up. Uh, to mess up uh, Megan's case, for me, I will be done. I don't care what happened. Harry could do whatever. Me, I'm out. Okay? Why chagrin? Doesn't he yap everything to her? There's a bestie. Okay? I can't care less. They deserve each other, no doubt. Just look at the smirk on Camilla's face. Really better watch his back. Hey, just go to PYT. Some of the things I've said. Now, people are realizing it. Okay? Next tweet. There's more, but <laughs> I'm moving on okay 18 minutes already uh, my husband just came and showed me something uh, he wanted to eat since last week so he's preparing it and i want to go sit and eat with him all right you will think that if you have experience dressing to a theme and have thousands of pounds to spend you could probably get the color right okay there's this i think there was something happening regarding saint patrick and um i didn't bookmark it but let's see here um i think i was scrolling to and i saw it so let me show you beef, uh, this one it's an article i'm not gonna click on the article look at what's on uh william's head hat and i really thought it was uh uh how do you call this uh photoshop i thought it was a photoshop but it's not there, there was another one that i saw here i truly believe it was a photoshop oh my god all right back to this here so they're talking uh, not just me then i thought i was being nitpicky thank you i thought uh, i thought the same thing yep not quite green she had one job <laughs> okay there's this i thought it was a great and it matches the volume and the regiment hat i do wish however she will stop debuting new clothes during a cost of living crisis people are starving and she's in a new dress it's like 80s all over again uh, i'm not gonna click on that but whatever uh, people should, the people in the uk should know okay will you wear green after seeing megan in it nobody wears it better than the duchess of sussex the, oh my god not this one i'm saying oh my god too i'm saying to that this one okay look at harry he he has that swag like you know when obama is working sometimes he has that swag of relax when uh harry is working with his wife uh, with his wife confident okay Olengus. okay i thought that was a commercial Olengus will like a word okay i can't get over how handmade tell it is all look including the hat like this was her most Serena Joy look ever. The till is actually pretty traditional, of course, because it is uh, traditional. It would have been a good idea to make sure you weren't wearing the Air Angus steward uniform. Okay, I'll go back to that other picture. 
um, to see if it matches this one. I thought that too. The minute I saw the teal or whatever the color is called, it's not green that I know for sure. It clashes with the green corsage, so it will not be my choice for this day. Okay, let's see the where's the other one that I was just looking at. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I'm not about uh, how do you call this fashion, so I share it with you. Whatever. Next one, I see here William W. Okay, hold up. I thought royally said Prince William was now a billionaire since he inherited the duchy. If that's true, why is he merely expressing his disappointed about homelessness instead of doing something about it? Okay, so like two or three videos ago, could be two days ago, um, I spoke about him when he was talking about the homelessness. All right, so I just came across this. All right, so I decided to add it on the list for me to share with you. Also, let it sink in that Prince William has four homes, five if he gets his hand on Prince Andrew's home, like he's trying to, and yet he has nothing more to offer on the conversation of homelessness but disappointment. Mm -hmm, that's why he said his mom will be very disappointed about the amount of homelessness that's going in the UK. Okay, this man and his family love getting fat off the taxpayer's coin, but have only lip service to offer back, what is it? A uh, smile. Hey, he said he loves to smile. I'm sorry we can only come and give words and comfort, but we're, we are thinking about you the whole time and we really care about what's going on. So Sometimes it's just more than financial. Yeah. Well, if we can give you a little smile here and there, that's important. So, you know. And the other one says, what did you say? Clap? I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> I have the clips. Yeah, I think so. We have great clips. They're very generous, aren't they? Yeah, really generous. Mine's learning. It's learning. 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 <laughs> that's that's Good luck with that. They will probably use the excuse that homelessness is too political. After all, it's William's favorite Tory party that's been doing all the economic damages to people. Okay, actually seven now. I believe he inherited several when Queen Elizabeth II passed away, including High Grove. There's that here. <laughs> uh, that's commercial. Not true. He brings attention to the problem. Okay, he brings attention to a problem. So what is he going to do about it? Because he's bringing his dead mother who cannot do anything anymore. She did what she had to do when she was alive. So what is he going to do? Okay, does he? He has at least five, perhaps, or six at the moment. House in Wells, Scotland, Kensington Palace, Emna Hall, Dell Cottage, and rumor has, be it, Charles gave him high growth. All right, so let's move to... They have so much. I don't even think they know what to do anymore with those things. I mean, your butt can only stay in one place. All right, I'm almost done. Court trial of the century. Pierce Morgan is facing a lot of serious claims by Prince Harry. All right, let's read this. Last year, Wallace handed Morgan, uh, did I put it twice or it wasn't the other one? So that's that. Yeah, I think I read it already on another video. There's that, okay, where the truth die. Okay, yeah, I did it. I did it already, so I, I don't wanna. Uh, waste time on this okay let me do my last one so i could go and eat with my husband maybe the kids will eat too okay there's this here i share that with you on my community board so what are we looking at okay so remember the living crisis that's going on in the uk it's very bad people are suffering but you're looking at the elites you know the social class the upper social class are doing very well So this is what they're showing here. There's all the famous faces. Some of them I'm not aware of. I've seen him a couple of times. There's this guy who's uh, divorced the, one of the royal rats who write negative thing about Harry and Meghan. This is the nurse from NH NH is it NHS. Who's having some issues right now okay and despair and there they are the others are just enjoying themselves and these are the lower class look at the fact that just <coughs> on energy alone on a conservative estimate within one year we're talking 1300 pounds a year going up in bills we're going to have about 10 million people in fuel poverty we have a real 
absolute, not relative poverty issue going to come in the UK. And just before the summer holidays, when the cost of living crisis really started kicking off, um, I've just noticed I spend as much time taking food away from children as I do serving it. And to be honest, it's not what I took the job for. You know, I never dreamt that I'd be having to tell children you can't have that, you've no money on your account. Night, my wife spent an hour trying to glue my daughter's school shoes back together because we can't afford to buy her a new pair. All right, um, suffering and they're handing, what is that? Is that corn? Okay, and they're counting their money and whatever. Mm. Okay, so that's what this picture sort of depict. You guys go add more. Look at the gold, uh, the eating, drinking. There's Boris in the back. This guy, what was it? <laughs> was it he at uh, some sort of a service, uh, fidgeting, moving back and forth, whatever. And the next thing you know, he got uh, fired or something. I think he's some sort of a financial person. Whoever's in the UK could tell me who his name, this black guy. Okay, so, and there's this one that taking the money going along with it all right let's feed some of the comment outstanding as always cheers another feeder on the hood genius as always there's that thumbs up okay so brilliantly done chillingly accurate okay all right so there's that i, I want to move on <laughs> i'm tired um let's do peace for the world okay put uh prayer for let's do peace and the world okay it came in mind so let's just say it and get it out of the way all right now lord come to our aid grant us peace teach us peace guide our steps and the way of peace open our eyes and our hearts and give us the courage to say quote never again war end quote and also with war everything is lost and still in our hearts the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace all right <laughs> that remind me of uh, the asking for Putin. All right, let's do this one. A prayer for peace and prosperity. Lord, how I long to break free from negative thinking and embrace peace and enjoy and optimism. I invite you to begin transforming my thought pattern and help me recognize, reject, and replace thoughts that are not pleasing to you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so that's it please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link and a cash app link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you all right so that's it It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. <laughs>